Okay. What's up? What's what's? I don't know. I I, I planned the whole day. How I was gonna say was good to everybody coming back on the first video. I had a whole gimmick and all that plan about tearing my ECL, defending my world championship, but I just don't feel like doing all that right now. We back. We back though. It's been a cool little minute. It's been a minute. It's been about a year. It's been about a year. That's how long an ACL injury usually takes from what I'm from what I've been experiencing tearing my ACL. It's been a hell of a year. I got a son now. He just turned one. Um, so we back going hard with the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I can quit my job. Like I said, we back watching a match. We stand in Japan, which I know, I know we, we still in Japan. But I feel like a lot of the American stuff I've seen, uh, most of it is going to be like, the stuff that I haven't seen is going to be like independent, GCW, DPW, all that kind of shit. But I'm really not trying to watch any of that. So we're just going to stay in Japan, but we're going to switch it up a little bit. And we're going we gonna to watch the women. Two of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time. I know when, when people talk about the greatest women's wrestlers of all time, it's uh, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Tr Trish Stratus, Lita, China, Eve Torres, Michelle McCool, Michelle McCool <laughs> Layla. When you, when you discuss the greatest women's wrestler of all time, no question, Aja Kong, definitely one of them. Is she the best Kong in wrestling? I, I, I'm automatically I'm automatically going to default to Awesome Kong just because she's a black woman. It's no questions. I'm not, it's no debate. But Aja Kong is, she's pretty good. Her, the greatest women's wrestler of all time, no questions, Manami Toyota. No questions. The customary giving of the flowers, you know the hill is not taking the flowers. I'm not taking the flowers. So just put them up. The titles with the with the with the like the little the little plate and the endless leather wrapped around the little plate I don't like the NXT one's kind of boxy, but I feel like I have to like the NXT one because I'm black. It's still a black man holding the title. A black man beat the black man to win the title, and I'm pretty sure that black man also beat a black man to win the title. But we've already had that conversation straight stare down so i don't think there's i don't think there's a story to this match at all like i think it's just aja kong has just been bodying everybody so she's undeniable number one contender versus top champion best wrestler in the world what damn damn how big is aja kong she is a woman no disrespect so i'm, I'm gonna say she's no bigger than 240 pounds 238 I, I didn't look it up i swear i did not look it up i didn't look it up come on bro i know my women <laughs> i know my women bro oh it's just anything you can do i can do better with someone bigger than you that's not a, that's not a uh i'm not trying to play that game because they're gonna do it better you're gonna kick me harder it's gonna hurt more for sure. Dang! Into the Boston Crab. Oh my God! Jeez, lion. Yeah, that's a lion tamer for sure, bro. The walls of Jericho hurts. Like, rest. All right. We all know wrestling is, but the walls of Jericho. Any any of the submission moves where it's like someone is sitting on your lower back, the sharpshooter. The single leg Boston Crab, the walls of Jericho, all of that hurts. I got put in the walls of Jericho when I was like 10 and I almost passed. Like I, I could feel myself blacking out from the from how intense the pain was. I can see why Chris Jericho is an eight time world champion. The Ocho, if I was a wrestler and I was in a match with like a bigger opponent, I would immediately do my finisher as many times as I could. Like if I'm in the match with Brock Lesnar and let's say I'm... Let's say I'm Dolph Ziggler. I'm immediately doing super kicks 
as many super kick the roman reigns i'm immediately doing as many spears as i can i'm trying to get this nigga out of here i'm trying to get him out of here oh yeah he go to slap she be slapping the shit out of people dang <laughs> just a straight what is that called uppercut throat thrust what they call it her throat thrust is crazy aja kong how many other you asked me is, is she the best kong in wrestling how many other kongs outside of awesome kong is it in wrestling <laughs> we're we not talking about the 50s kong we're not talking about him or her that loser <laughs> i don't care i never yeah <laughs> in memphis shit if he was drawn in memphis he was probably hot so let me not say that <laughs> let me not say too much if i was a heel wrestler y'all would hate me i would be so I would be so boring. Zach Saber Jr. <laughs> I wouldn't even be him because I wouldn't. E I wouldn't even be trying to put fancy moves. I'm not doing too much. I'm giving gender chin lock, the claw on the shoulder, the fucking arm lock, the key lock up here on the shoulder, the bear hug. I'm giving all that, bro. Yeah. Clubs to the back, punches to the stomach, and then my finisher would be the carrying cross elbow to the back of the head. That's the most stupidest finisher in wrestling, bro. The forearm to the back of the head. The back suplex, yeah. That's a back suplex would kill you. Dream! It's just ski boat in the back of her head. And then I'm gonna pick you up and I'm gonna. Jesus! <laughs> hey, what? Yeah. That look like that shit would make you throw up. That's the one thing about being a baby face. You gotta do the whole never give up, never say die, bro. I'm ready to quit. If you hit me in the stomach wrong, you got me, bro. Oh, wow. Ooh! There's nothing she can do with her. Oh! Please. Damn. Oh, shit. No, she about to do it. Here it goes. She about, to, she about to do it? What is it called? The ocean cyclone death bomb? Oh! Get the fuck out of here is what she said. <laughs> It's nothing she can do with her. That's these are my favorite type of matches when it comes to like giant heel and baby face. Where the baby face just can't do nothing. Like this is how you this is how you book a monster heel. This Brody Lee when he first came to AEW and he body Cody and it was nothing that Cody could do with him. Umaga nobody could do anything with Umaga for like a year until John Cena came in and 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 destroyed all that rusev nobody could do anything with rusev for a year until john cena came his in <laughs> and his name is john cena <gasps> Ooh, cold red from the top oh she got her foot on the rope oh my god bro Sting! Just a straight pimp, spinning pimp slap to the back of the, to the face. Toyota really can't do nothing with Aja Khan, but Aja Khan cannot put her away, bro. She's been dumping her on her neck for like 25 minutes now, and it's not working. She's still jumping to the top rope with no hands. Ooh! Yeah, she hit her in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. 22 minutes and 45 seconds. This is the first Toyota match that I threw up on right here. She get her ass whooped. I done hyped her up as being the greatest of all time. And she really just got washed. It's all smiles now. After you done crushed. Look at how they got to carry her out of the ring. Yeah, that's an ugly belt, bro. That's a terrible looking belt. Oh, I didn't know that. So a black woman won. I mean, I take that comment back earlier. She she is the greatest con. <laughs> well, this got rated five stars. I wouldn't say it's a five star match. I would say it's a pretty uh, it's pretty formulaic in my opinion. Like they they told the story for the most part. Like Aja Kong, she looked unbeatable. Like Toyota, she was really. When when Manami Toyota was getting her shit in, she was dumping her on her neck. So she was she was really trying to beat her, but she just couldn't do nothing with her. 
And Manami Toyota looked like a great baby face because she really took an ass whooping for 22 minutes. 3.5, 4? 4? You said 4.5? It was good. I didn't even see that part. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I did not see that part. I was sitting here watching the whole thing. I did not see that. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. The, the video done went off. It's good to be back, man. It's good to be back watching wrestling with y'all. I don't know if y'all was leaving comments saying, like, y'all wanted me to watch a specific match, but a lot of, y a lot of the uh, American shit, I'm just not watching, bro. Unless it's, like, something crazy good. But like I said, I've already seen most of it. And I'm trying to watch shit I haven't watched. But I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me watching wrestling. It's been your boy Tone. We'll be back.